the diversity, equity, and inclusion sort of um, paradigm has been really healthy for our democracy. Uh, it's, it's, I think, forcing politicians, activists to uh, to really think about, you know, how are we actually creating barriers within our own institutions? Um, and I think the other plank of that is justice. And you don't have a society that is just, you know, just for your friend um, who was killed, um, just for the people who don't deserve to be arrested for no reason. Um, then, then I think that you're going to, then it's going to be a much harder to kind of come to the middle because if someone feels like they're, they're a person slider or that there's no institution that will protect them when the tragedy, when the not often occurred tragedy happens, um, then, then we lose faith in the entire system. And so I would argue that a, um, a more pragmatic approach would be to get to deliberately through policies at the city level, county level, um, to shift police into a new mindset. And I said, you know, an army of social work. Now, what is your philosophy that guides you in your term as mayor? Yeah, the um, I think the philosophy could really stems from um, the, the Kingian philosophy, which is you know, Martin Luther King Jr.'s um, stance on um, economic and social justice. Um, I think it could be summed up in something that the city did um, two months um, after I was elected, uh, and that was passing the Charter of Compassion. And this is a, a worldwide movement based on an interfaith idea that all major religions share in this, this idea of compassion. And, you know, for the Christians, you would know it as do unto others as you would have them do unto right. you. Um, but guess what? Uh, Muhammad talked about it. Um, Rabbi Hillel, um, the Buddha, um, the, the leading uh, Hindi scholars. Um, and so this is a theme that comes up throughout, right. um, you know, major religions. And Clarkston being so multi-ethnic and multi-religious, it was really important for me to find a way to uh, to connect and to communicate with so many different cultures and religions. And it was really instrumental, I think, um, in reaching out to the Muslim community, going to the, the Bhutanese temples, um, and, and going to the ch- all the various churches. Uh, when you talk about this idea of compassion, it doesn't matter what, you know, religious setting you're in, the people listening will understand it because they've right. heard that before, you know, throughout their their time in that religion. And I think, you know, for Clarkson, that meant, you know, mainly in the context of hiring more ethnically and, you know, language diverse uh, police officers. So it was really important for us to have officers that reflected the community that they, they serve in. I think you actually, what you said about being on the inside is really key because there is a public face and there is what happens. And um, that's exactly why I ran for office. <laughs> if we had more young people run for office, you would interject new ideas into the conversation behind closed doors, where arguably over the last 20, 30 years, it's been an echo chamber where everyone who's in there already agrees. And there's no new ideas interjected. And, you know, this decriminalization idea, you know, we're the first city in Georgia to do it. Yeah. And a lot of people said, oh, you know, you do this and Carson can get a drug rate. <laughs> People are going to come from all over to use drugs in Carson, and, and this has been four months now, and there's been no uptick in violent crime, no uptick in you know drug crimes um, of any of any kind. Well, <laughs> but I would just say, just to just real quickly to say that um, we've got to get people who think like what we're talking about. They've got to run for office. Politicians will respond if they feel that their careers and their jobs and their salaries and their benefits are at jeopardy. I defeated an incumbent mayor. Um, I was 30 years old, we're going to get the 77 year old mayor. All right. And it wasn't easy, was it? <laughs> it wasn't easy, no. Um, but it can be done. Um, and you know, if you have an organizer mentality, um, you've got, got it right. Organizing is meeting people where they're at. And we can find our way to the solutions. We got our way to the solution on the marijuana ordinance. We had a little bit of disagreements on how we're going to do it, um, but we were willing to have lots of open meetings, hearings, take lots of ideas, and be willing to challenge ourselves to think differently. And that paradigm shift has got to happen. And the only way it's going to happen, you know, is, well, it's going to happen a lot of ways. Um, but at the end of the day, it's got to be a policy that has to be voted on and passed by a city council, a county commission, state legislature, uh, or a federal 